What is up guys, today I will show you how to install Windows 11 on your MacBook. I've got here MacBook M3 uh, Air, which is more than enough for Windows 11 to operate. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, 250, 212 of the SSD here, but also uh, it can be installed on 8 gigabyte and 256, so on basic version of the MacBook uh, Windows 11 can be installed. And I will show you how to install it using Parallels. So after installation, you can use any Windows apps, games, even not all of them, but majority of the games also can be used. And all the other win Windows advantages can be used here when you install it. Uh, so Parallels here, I will do it on a free trial, but although you got 14 days free trial, at the same time, you can buy it. Uh, I don't know what the price actually, uh, I just use it as a trial one, but let's check it out. Let's check, let's find the price, parallels for Mac, $100 per year, that's the price. So you click on the parallels.com, try it free, enter your email, and then you will have the download button here, so you can download it. I already downloaded, just show you now. Okay, so here I have installation file, the latest version available for now for two, uh, 2024 Autumn. You just open it, click install and wait a bit, password. It will not take that much time for installation. So already installed, so as you see starting, click allow, allow allow everything so now it's offering you to install the windows 11 here so we have other option bottom get windows 11 from microsoft install windows uh, linux or mac os from an image file also ubuntu can be installed fedora linux i don't know what this is, but many options here kali linux available so both of them you can install or just get a Windows 11 up to you. So I selected Windows 11, click install Windows. So it will take some time, it will download the latest version here and as you see weight of it is 5.2 gigabytes. And after this time will be done, so around seven minutes for me, uh, I will be back to you after it finishes the installation. Okay, currently we have validating stage, so we can explore what you can accomplish with Parallels Desktop for Mac. Meanwhile, we are waiting. So actually here you have, it's not an advertisement, I just use it for myself. And what they suggest, you, you'll have Windows on ARM here, Mac M series plus Parallel Desktop. That's how it works for home, for school, for home. So trusted Windows application, uh, comfortable using Windows, actually just advertisement, nothing special. Optimize and ready for Mac OS Sonoma here. Uh, download and install uh, in your Mac in two clicks. Experience perfect synergy between Mac and Windows. So actually, yeah, also you will have the synergies that you can use Windows app in your MacBook without even opening Windows. This is interesting. Smooth integration uh, and so much more. Here is a show and what it have. You can choose your view. As you see here, even on this photo, you can, it's really visible that you click on Windows, you open a main control, but you're still on the Mac, which is interesting. Also drag and drop files between Windows and Mac. Open files and, uh, on Finder with Windows. As you see, it's directly opening with Excel from Windows. And playing games. For instance, here you see Minecraft, Age of Empires, Fortnite, League of Legends, etc. As you see, it's working. You can open it full screen. You will not feel you're on your Mac. Although here they have uh, three editions here, how you can use it and what are the difference and the price difference as well. Uh, so that's how it works up to Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise here, minimum system requirement. 
So it works from macOS Mojave here from 10th version, any Apple Silicon chip and even Core i5, i7, i9, 4 gigabytes of RAM required, 600 uh, megabytes for parallels plus 16 gigabytes for Windows required and for graphics you can see here. So basically it supports almost everything, almost any Mac here. Okay, as you see, okay, as you see here, installation is ongoing. So it's like regular installation, similar to any like Windows laptop and need to wait until it will be over. So I guess it will take another five minutes. Let's wait. All right, so we are here. We have the Windows installed. We need to accept here. Windows 11 installed, use just like uh, you would on a PC. So then you need to activate it, but for me it should be activated automatically. So then you have all the files. I have those files on my desktop. Actually, it's same here. And regular Windows, you can set it up as a regular Windows, install uh, regular apps as on the Windows, have the settings, actually Wi-Fi here already, sound, battery, all, all the settings feel okay actually suggest me to activate it but usually I never activate it it's somehow activated by itself after like a restart you, ju you just activate it somehow by itself so I don't know I didn't check it how it works okay so you see here it's restarted really fast so now it's loading it took less than 10 seconds to launch the Windows 11 on your uh, MacBook here. Okay, let's open the settings, see whether it's activated. If no, you need to buy a key, it seems no. Okay, you can also use it not active, it will also work, but suggest you to activate it in case you have the key or possibility to activate it. All right, so what you need to do, you need to firstly to make the settings, basic settings. So you need to shut down your windows to control center, then click settings. Then here we go. So you see the total size, you see the configure for and adjusted productivity, software development, design, game only. So you have many options, change the name, description, uh, although start and uh, up and shut down automatically, always ready in the background and custom can be selected. So as you see, you have many options to be selected. Pause windows after 30 seconds. Optimization resources. Um, I said a no limit also up to you. If you have an old Mac, you can limit it. Sharing. So it's what you share with windows. Application. Also can be set up full screen, use all displays in the full screen, optimize full screen for games. Picture in picture also can be selected for Windows 11, picture in picture mode, weapon email, you can install some plugin, maintenance, also no need travel mode. Uh, actually it's for enter and quit automatically, more options soon with Mac and others. Hardware is that's interesting thing. So here you can have uh, adaptive hypervision uh, or automatic that's recommended for this Mac. Four CPU cores, six gigabytes of RAM, up to three gigabytes for graphic. And manually you can select how many cores. So for example, six core. I have uh, just to remind MacBook Air M3 here with uh, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of memory. And I can use up to 12 gigabytes of memory here. I will use automatic for graphics, best for retina display scale, best for external display can be selected, mouse and keyboard, just keep same network, shared network, you can uh, bridge with a Wi-Fi adapter in case you need it, but just use shared network so the MacBook internet will be shared directly to Windows, sound and camera also default, actually nothing to change here, USB and devices, same hard disk that is using the disk capacity is 256 <laughs> quite a lot but it's created here separate source and use it cd dvd disconnected dpm chips i don't know um, boot order 
actually that's main settings for the security you see here what you have you can encrypt this password uh, you can allow changing guests to as password and terminal always lock windows so it's more for the security and backup so you can keep it backup on your time machine actually that's mainly all the options available also you can install many others on this parallels you can install uh, linux ubuntu and use three of them so it's quite convenient let's launch windows and i will just show you that everything works and i think we are it's quite fast what's it okay it's uh, switching to coherence mode here as i clicked Okay, so in this mode, as you see here, when I click Windows, I will not have really Windows, but I will have the apps here, for example, App Explorer. Yes, you see here, I'm using the Explorer app as a regular native uh, macOS app, and it's really insane how it works. Maybe it's a bit buggy at the beginning, but may after one, two hours, uh, Windows will be finalized and it will work uh, much, much better. And as you see, you have all the regular like uh, you can open all the regular settings of windows uh, and as you see how it looks like uh, disk uh, c here and you can also put it back to regular mode uh, you have here travel mode pause suspend shut down manage snapshots as well devices view you see here we can exit this uh, coherence mode and we'll be back to regular windows mode so basically that's pretty much it for the guidance how to install it how to use it you can now from now on install any windows app and it works really great so in case you have still some question just put in the comments below put the thumbs up and see you next time